It's really exciting to present the L shape here at the dock. The space allows for a very particular encounter with the moving image. The two main gallery spaces are so generous in size that it allows for complete immersion with these films. The L shape sort of refers to a number of different ideas. Uh, firstly, it's sort of a nod to the physical relationship between the main gallery spaces at the dock. Secondly, it's also sort of an image of where two discrete, distinct artistic practices meet. Uh, Sarah Brown and, and Jenny Brady have very uh, distinct artistic practices, but in this exhibition, what we're foregrounding is, is the point at which their work comes together and, and their ideas around speech language, communication, and the body um, come together. Going to the mountain consists of three formal studies of pre-verbal babies. The film is really about kind of looking at the idea of whether the, the pre-verbal child can represent a sort of site of embodied knowledge by looking at their gestures and movements. So what I think is really uh, rich about Sarah Brown's The Invisible Limb is the way in which she intercuts this archive footage of Charlotte Posnenska and her work being constructed uh, alongside this newly filmed material of Irish artist Cynthia Moran. Um, and uh, fragments of this uh, take place at the Joyance Causeway, where we see Cynthia Moran interacting in that space in a very uh, distinctive way and describing the very kind of strange design of the Giant's Causeway, which uh, for her as a sculptor clearly makes a, a significant impact. So what I think is really exciting about both um, Sarah's and Jenny's films is that they both have a kind of an uncanny way of making the familiar feel very strange. Sarah Brown's work, Corpus, consists of framed dedications at acknowledgements from publications in the social and political sciences, history, economics, feminism and philosophy. It gestures towards ideas around visibility and invisibility in relation to labour, a concern that is uh, central to Sarah Brown's practice. The show also includes an object that's been drawn from the real world and used to kind of tap into that idea of making the familiar feel strange by calling upon ideas that relate to labour and the body.